Hello and welcome to this new After Effects tutorial by Flow Motion. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily set up a project like this one here. Or make your text wiggle like in this example here. So in this tutorial I'm basically going to cover different versions of how to animate a text in a scribble way, in a more chittery way and at last that letters are wiggling on their own and also get a kind of a liquid look to it. So let's get started. Let's create a new composition, call it our main text. 10 seconds, 1920 by 1080, that's fine. Let's create a new layer by hitting Control Y or simply go to Layer New Solid and let's make this white, make it comp size and we call it BG. Okay, now we are going to create the text by clicking on the text icon here. This text is shaking and Let's just make this a bit bigger. And by the way, I'm trying to get both of those lines very close to each other so that we later on, when we try to liquefy the text, get some kind of interaction between the letters. So now let's go to the Align tool. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows, Align and just bring it into the middle of our screen, maybe scale this up a little bit more. Okay, and now we are going to create different versions of this text. Because as I told you in the first step, I just want to show you an easy way to get a kind of a scribble effect on this text. And this is really easy. You just have to right click on your text, then go to create masks from text. And I call this the mask layer. And let's just do this once again. But this time we want to create shapes from our text. And I call this shapes. And you can see that this is a shape layer because it has this star icon. Okay, but let's start with our mask layer. And you just can't see it at the moment because it's a white layer on a white BG. So let's just go to the solid settings and make this one black again. Okay. And the nice thing about the masks is that we can apply effects to it. And you guessed it, we are now just playing around with the scribble effect. Once again, let's just make this one black. And you can directly see what this effect is going to do. And we can also apply it to all masks. Then you have a few variations for the fill type. And you can just play around with these. But I think the inside looks best for me. And if we are playing this back, you can see that this is already shaking, or in this case, wiggling, which could come in pretty handy. But of course we want to make this look a bit nicer. So we can play at first with the stroke widths and we could make this look like it has been drawn with a, with a pencil or something like that. And we can change the look by changing the angle. And if we go down with the wiggle per second amount, like maybe just go to four, So you get this kind of shaky look and if you want to randomize this a little bit more, this is something that I'm also using later on for the more liquefied look, you can apply a choker to it. What this is doing, it's somehow expanding or shrinking the alpha channel of that. So now let me just hide the masks real quick and if I go up with this, you see that it shrinks all of this. But let's apply this in a different way. Let's just extend it until we are filling holes and gaps in between the letters and after that 
duplicating it and go in the other way. And what you can see now is that the text is really interacting in some cases whenever the joker just reaches a threshold where it combines the letters, which just makes this look way more organic. But again, you can also just use this effect to create thin lines and really just make it look like a stroke. And in this case, I would always recommend to just duplicate the mask layer with the scribble already applied. And then you can just for the second one change the angle. And also go into the stroke options and make it a little bit more curvy and just bring in a little bit more of a variation there. And really start to create an interesting look for all of that. Okay, but as I said, this was the first version of a text scribble. Now let's go to version two, where we still have our BG and our base text. Let's just go to the text that we still have here in the original text layer and we can click on the animate. At first, let's enable the per character 3D. In this way, we have each character separately. Now, once again, go to animate and we wanna, for example, animate the position. And there we have an animator now and we go to the selector wiggly. Now, what we can do is we can start playing around with the position. And as you see, this is really in 3D space now and if we play this back you can see that this text is really starting to shake around. And of course you can do the same with rotation, scale, skew, whatever you want. So this is basically already the second version of the text shaking and wiggling effect. And what you could do here is you can apply some motion blur to it to make this look even cooler. So you simply apply the motion blur for the text layer and also for the whole composition. So let me play this back once. Looking really cool. And as I told you before, we are now also in 3D space, so we could easily set a new camera, layer new camera. Let's give it more of a wider angle, like a 32 millimeter. And we could orbit around now. By just hitting C, we get the camera options. And you see, this is fully 3D now. Okay, as you see, I overdid it a little bit with the position settings, but I guess you know exactly what you can do with that effect now. Awesome, and that's it already with the version two of our text shaking effect. So now let's go to the last version. In this last version, we wanna make it a little bit more subtle, use some different effects, and also play a little bit with shape layers. So we can get rid of our camera, hide the text layer and go into our shape layer. Exactly the same starting as before. So now for the shapes, we can go to the content and there we have all of our different shapes. And as before, we can just add effects from this small add menu here. So in this case, we want to add something like a wiggle path effect to make it a little bit shaky. As you see, it already applied the effect, but this is of course a little bit strong. So we just go down with the detail and also play with the size of this. Also, we can smooth this out 
And this is also already pre-animated. So you have a wiggle per second count. And if you take a look at this, this is smoothly animating. But what I don't like is all the small wrinkles and details in here. So we could do the same trick as we have done before with our Joker effect. So let's apply once again the Joker to it. We select the layer, go to Simple Joker, and let's start with extending this effect until we get rid of all this fine detail, like minus 10. And then we can again duplicate it and shrink it. And now we see already this this effect of a liquefied look where the letters are really floating into each other. And this already starts to look really nice. For example, you can see the hole in the A which now also transforms its size. Really nice. And of course you could add more effects to this, like for example a twist and just play around a little bit with those settings to get exactly the look that you're after. And also, a small tip from my side is to make it look a little bit more organic at the end, you could add something like a turbulent displays, which just gives it a more overall look. And you can apply this before applying the simple choker. In this case, you are bending the text before the liquefied effect starts taking place. And of course, the amount is a little bit high, so let's maybe go down to something around 20. Still a little bit much. Maybe we also go down with the twist. And of course, you can also keyframe that so that also this makes kind of a small animation. And to do that, you could either set two keyframes starting with zero degrees and at the end something like 360. But you could also do this with an expression. You just hold down the Alt button, click on the stopwatch for the evolution. And then you could put in time times, for example, 120. And that means you have a value of zero when the time is at zero because zero times 120 is zero. And then when we go forward to the one second mark, you have one second times 120 is 120 degrees, two times is 240 degrees. And so on and so on. So it's continuously animating no matter how long your composition will be. Really nice. And if you want to add something like motion blur to it now, this could be a little bit more tricky because as we have everything without keyframes, it's just effects that are making up those animation. You want to use something like a pixel motion blur. But as you see here, the pixel and motion blur is an effect that is calculated at first. So all of the other effects that are already in there get kicked aside. So what you could do here is get rid of the pixel and motion blur, pre-compose your whole layer and call it the shape animation. Hit OK. And now we just apply the pixel motion blur effect to this layer. I would always recommend to use a high shutter samples value, but it takes a lot of time for rendering. So while you're working, I would keep it down and just for rendering purposes, put it up to something like eight or 16. And in this case, I would also crank up the shutter angle, which wouldn't be possible with a normal camera, but as we are in the digital world, this is possible. And let me just do a quick RAM preview. And that's it with the third method on creating an animated text that is wiggling and shaking. So I hope you learned a little bit in those three variations of basically the same effect. Think about all the possibilities you could have in combinations of those effects. And don't just think about animating text with that. I'm thinking about animating like water or blood or just a kind of a smoky ghosty effect. So let's see what you are creating with these effects. And in the meantime, I wish you a lot of fun in After Effects. <laughs>